We're standing by for Donald Trump to arrive at the courthouse in Manhattan. His business empire at stake. He's getting ready to take the stand. Yeah, just minutes away. With us now, Ellie Hodick, CNN senior legal analyst and former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. Also with us, former Manhattan prosecutor Jeremy Salan. And gentlemen, I mentioned when I was talking to our reporters before that there has been some speculation that with Trump, when he gets on the stand in a few minutes, he will go in there and try to blow things up. And by that, I mean just derail the trial, go after the judge, go after the clerk. The reason being, and this is a quote from Alan Dershowitz in a Rolling Stone article, Dersh says, quote, when a defendant honestly believes he can't possibly get a fair trial from the judge, one of the tactics is to antagonize the judge, I think we have a graphic of this, to the point of causing reversible errors. In other words, go after the judge, taunt the judge, draw the judge into doing something that will hurt the case going forward. You normally would never say poke the bear of the judge that the ramifications could be quite serious. But when you're looking in this situation, it's a potentially, potentially a double win for Donald Trump. And what I mean by that is you have his court of public opinion, which we know that's where he's going with regularity. It's a, fund uh, a campaign fundraising opportunity and galvanize the masses. But when you already have to a certain extent and a large extent lost, because there's already been a ruling by the judge as to this fraud, then this is the opportunity to say, I'm going to push that judge to a point where he or she, and in this case, Judge Engoron, may do something inappropriate that results in, in, in an error, reversible error. So, yes, you're setting up an appeal potentially. How is, is that possible? <laughs> How is it a good idea when this is not a jury trial? This is a judge only trial to go in there with the intent and think it's going to be a win to blow things up. Yeah, I'm not sure it's a conservative strategy, lowercase c, but it's a strategy when you're desperate, when you've already lost, as Donald Trump has, right? One of the counts the judge has already found against Donald Trump on the persistent fraud count. This is going to be a test for this judge as well, because the judge has to resist taking the bait. Donald Keep Trump, talking, Ellie, yeah. but we're looking at Donald Trump arriving at the courthouse as we speak. Continue, please. And this same Donald Trump has already been poking the judge, both in the court proceedings, but also in public and social media. I mean, Donald Trump has said over the top things about the judge. Technically does not violate the gag order because right. the gag order only applies to the judge's staff. But this judge is going to have to sort of find the sweet spot here between, on the one hand, keeping Donald Trump in line, not letting Donald Trump make this trial into a circus. But on the other hand, not sort of lashing out at Donald Trump, not making a potentially incorrect ruling against Donald Trump, just in the heat of the moment. So I'm going to watch the judge here. Can we role play for a second here? Sure. Uh, Ellie, if Ooh. I'm Donald Trump <laughs> and I'm on the witness stand and I'm saying, harumph, 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 witch hunt, harumph, 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 you know, judge, Democratic judge, Democratic clerk, harumph, harumph. Yeah. What does the judge then say? First he says, uh, Mr. Trump, the objection, presumably there'll be an objection. Objection sustained, Mr. Trump, you are to stop. Please, st you know, stop what you're saying. Objection sustained. And I'm striking what you said from the record. I'm removing it from the record. And then I say, Donald Trump, harumph, 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 which uh, Democratic judge? Mr. Trump, I'm going to warn you once again. The objection has been sustained. This is an inappropriate answer. And again, I'm striking it from the record. And if you do it again, I may have to strike your entire testimony. And then just, just for <laughs> emphasis, one last time, yeah. Trump Can goes, harumph, harumph, harum, harum. <laughs> Democratic judge, witch hunt. Uh, I think the judge is going to say, okay, that's it. You've, I've warned you several times, Mr. Trump. I strike your testimony. I strike your testimony from the record. I'm going to consider this case without it. You have disobeyed this court over and over again. I've given you many, many chances. So if this is a choose your own adventure that we're playing out, right. that's Avenue A. Right. Avenue B, Avenue B could be pleading the fifth when he takes the stand. Yes, it could. And I, I always loved those books as a kid, The Choose Your Own Me Adventure. Mm -hmm. But that, that all being said, I just want to follow up. You know, you know, there's always the possibility, although I don't think it'll happen, that the judge could remand somebody, remand Trump, basically put you in, or whether it's temporary for the afternoon or put you in overnight, that would be a catastrophe, I think, for the case, and it would be a win for Donald Trump. In a cell. You're talking about correct, prison, correct, yeah, correct, to be clear. Correct, do it, correct, correct to, the, to the cell. Now, do I think that would happen? That would be extreme. I don't think that will happen. I, I don't think that's the way it goes. And a, as to the fifth... Yes. This is not a criminal case where I or you or anyone could say, I'm not going to speak and, you know, hurt myself. I'll take that fifth. You can do that in a civil case, but at the same time, this judge, and there's not a jury here, can say, I'm going to have an adverse inference as to why but you are taking that fifth. But he's already lost. Why give him anything else? Well, there's also the, the, the deniability, and we've said this, and I've said this to you, John, before, and I believe to you, Kate, you know, you admit what you can't deny and you deny what you can't admit, which means, I, I, you know, I, yeah, I may have seen this, I may have done this, but it wasn't my fault. So he's going to push off blame, push off blame. Legally speaking, this is an easy strategic decision. You take the fifth. Now, all indications from Trump's camp and people are like, he will not take the fifth, and he will, in fact, testify. But if, if you're just doing this by the book uh, as a lawyer, you say, okay, 
you have the right to take the fifth, even though this is a civil case. There are any number of prosecutors who already have charged you with various crimes not relating to this fraud, but they could still do that. And so why would you take the stand, testify, and give them any opening, any basis to revive an investigation? And on the flip side, as Kate said, I would say to Donald Trump, you've already lost one of the counts in this case. There is going to be a penalty imposed. We're going to appeal, for sure. But by testifying, you don't really stand to gain much here, unless, of course, you're playing the PR and political game, yeah. which is out of my court as a lawyer. All right. Again, mm -hmm. Donald Trump arrived at the courthouse just minutes ago. Presumably, he will speak in front of cameras before he walks into the courtroom. We are standing by to hear that. We've asked a lot about what he might do. We've asked about what the judge might do. I want to talk about the state here, because it, he's a state witness today. The state has called him to the stand. What is it that they want to do? How will they approach this? So they want to confront Donald Trump. It doesn't necessarily have to be aggressive or over the top, but they want to confront him with documents, with tangible, objective documents. You know what I would ask as the first question? I would say to Donald Trump, how big is your apartment? Right, this is the famous apartment that's 10,000 square feet. He claimed and it's well, 30,000 square feet. Yeah, three, three X, what it actually right. was, and what so he claimed if for he, years. If he says 10,000 square feet, which it is, rounding off here, you go, okay, so here's this document that you signed year after year saying 30,000 square feet. That's false, isn't it? If he says it's 30,000 feet, I mean, I don't know, you call, you call a surveyor or something that says it's not 30,000 mm -hmm. feet. So I think they want to confront him. You have to know what you have locked in, what there's no or little wiggle room on, and you have to have documents. They did this to Eric Trump last right. week. When Eric Trump tried to deny things, they had emails showing that he was involved in creation of the financial statement. So that's how I'd go about this. So Trump's attorneys didn't question either of the sons when they took the stand last week. Why would they or wouldn't they want to question Donald Trump? And they would be going, obviously, second here in doing so. What do you Correct. think? Correct. So almost like they're crossing their own witness. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's different. There's leading. It's different types of way you can ask the questions. But depending on what Donald Trump says and how he acts, will really dictate the response from his team, his attorneys. You think that because, could change kind of as the day progresses, right, their thinking in this? I, I think so. You know, keep in mind that he's not the average witness, meaning I yeah. think that most witnesses, and I, certainly my clients, are going to be controlled, and, and you never know exactly what they're going to say, but you really have an idea where this guy will go off the teleprompter, even if it's right in front of him. So, but if, if Donald Trump does something that's extremely self-destructive, as opposed to I don't recall or I don't know or the fifth, then there is the greater possibility that his attorneys will try to fix that error to make sure that record is correct. But at the same time, they don't want to give him too much air and too much oxygen to damn himself further on the stand. Yeah, clean up an aisle of Trump in the <laughs> midst of a court, a court hearing spill. could be yeah. <laughs> a, a big, big spill. spill. Thanks, guys. Much more to come. Please stick with us. Yeah, again.